ah, I'm so excited for this. This is going to be awesome. All right, guys. So here it is. Hope restoration. I hope I didn't keep you guys waiting. I was letting everybody kind of pour in. That's why um, on Twitch, I, I try to let everybody kind of come in because it takes a little bit longer than YouTube since it doesn't really hit people's not notifications and stuff quick. But here we are. I'm hoping that this is going to be really good. I've heard a lot of good things about um, Hope Restoration. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. And if you're watching this blind while I'm playing it, that's going to be even better for you. This is awesome. Crossbow is here. Scarlet donated 10 subs. This is insane. This has been a crazy stream. If y'all haven't been to the streams yet, come to the streams. Because it is wild. All right. Let's try out this fan game. Um, What can I do in this? Always sprint. Uh, I think I'm good with that. It should be all right, right? New game? I don't know how the controls work. Have you heard? Have you ever heard of ultimates? I am one. This this fan game has my your favorite writing personally. Shoot, if Crosspaw's saying that, we're in. Ultimates are high school students who possess something called an ultimate talent. Basically means that they are the very best at what they do, at least at a high school level. Certain prestigious schools are generally the judges of who counts as an ultimate and who does not. Graduation from one of these schools basically guarantees lifelong success. So being an ultimate sounds really cool, right? Well, it is, mostly. The title does come with some baggage. Years ago, a chain of, let's say, tragic events occurred that affected the whole world and may or may not have caused society as a whole to collapse. As it turns out, this tragedy, if you will, was inadvertently caused by ultimate students. It's not that big of a deal though, right? Well, it is. It is a very big deal. After the worldwide conflict was resolved and society was rebuilt, ultimate schools were opened once again to strengthen what little hope society had left to offer. However, the reputation of ultimate students was forever tarnished. Many people were still wary of them and the threat that they could potentially pose. Something had to be done to ease tensions and these schools had a plan. A project to rebrand the concept of ultimates and increase public opinions of the prestigious schools. The Hope Restoration Project. Class of carefully selected ultimate students who would have their daily school lives broadcasted on television. Okay, so they're supposed to have it broadcasted. What's up, DRock? To gain the favor of viewers across the globe, the ultimate students in question were already famous celebrities or at least possessed a moderate online following. Oh my god, they're influencers! And I switched scenes by accident. My bad. The ultimate students in question were already famous celebrities or at least possessed a modern online following. So they're like YouTubers and stuff. People like a famous DJ and high demand for a large scale events. A tabletop gamer with a popular podcast. Online content creators. There we are. Models. Even the local hero that's been all over the news. People already beloved by viewers that could easily turn public opinions in their favor. I guess there was a few students selected for pretty niche audiences, but there was me. My name is Reiko Shimura. Oh? I've been invited to the Hope Restoration Program as the ultimate paranormal investigator. We got voice acting! The ultimate paranormal investigator. Hold up, no! This is kind of clean. Wrong. There's nothing wrong with my talent at all. Okay. I think it's pretty great, actually. I think it's pretty dope. That's pretty interesting, actually. It's just that... I'm not really a celebrity like the rest of my class. Okay. I feel like I was just lucky. Like I was chosen on a whim or something. Oh, here we go with that word. Lucky. Well, that's what I thought at first. Yo, what is up with these fan games and wanting to blow out my ears? Hey, you wake up. Y'all like doing this? I'm supposed to be, uh, this is supposed to be a pleasant experience. Your turn to die is getting an update this month and I didn't know that. Huh? Who is this? Are you alive? You're starting to freak me out. Ooh, she a cutie. Uh, hello there, purple hair girl. There's, there's a girl standing over me. There's a girl standing over me? Oh my God, yeah. Huh? Ah, 
There you are. Huh? What's going on? Who are you? Oh, right. She's so cute. Don't panic. Allow me to introduce myself. Bow down to Haruhi Miyazaki, the ultimate pageant queen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm liking this girl already. The ultimate pageant queen. I like the voice acting, by the way. Shouts out. I awkwardly bowed like it was a sensible thing to do. You know, I was only kidding about the bowing down thing. Don't make this weird. Sorry. Hmm, speak up. You'll never get my approval unless you assert yourself. Who are you? Name and talent. Stat. Oh my god, look at her sprite! Yo, the sprites are so cool, and then the map is looking kind of decent too. Hold on, this might actually be really good. Ah, sorry, I'm Reko. Reko Shimamura, or Shimura, ultimate paranormal investigator. Who does this girl think she is? Why am I letting her boss me around? Excellent. Now let me ask you, Reko. Are you all right? It looks like you've been passed out here a while. Or is it Reiko? My bad. Sorry, guys. Uh, I think I'm okay. Are you all right? Well... Well, I just woke up on a park bench with no memory of the past day or so. So I'm rather confused and honestly pretty pissed off. Like, I seriously want to know where the hell I am right now. But it seems like you're in the same position as I. I had a gay panic for a second. Wait, what? Why? Oh, so you don't remember how you got here either? Unfortunately, I do not. Nothing useful at the very least. How did I... No. How did we get here? She, no she looks nothing like Mikan? No, I don't see it. I guess the hair a little bit, but I don't really see it. I really racked my brain for anything, really. There was nothing there. Oh, wait. I think. I think I was going to school. Except I, uh... Don't hurt yourself. I guess that has no real use to us at this particular moment. It's not like I can remember either. I just think it's an interesting coincidence. Two people waking up in a strange place with no memory, both ultimates no less? Yeah, wait. How did you know I was an ultimate? Psychic. You're a psychic? What? Sayaka? I'm just kidding. I was guessing based on your whole look. It would be weird if that getup wasn't for some niche talent. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. He's a Ghostbuster. Well, well between that and the e-handbooks information. The what? Oh, right. Oh, right. I woke up with a device in my pocket. I'm fairly certain you have one as well. It has some information on both of us. I believe it syncs up when in range of other handbooks and tells you about the owner. She's psychic. There's a rules page too, but it appears to be empty. Rules? Rules for what exactly? I'm not sure. I suppose we'll have to find out eventually. Now. If you want answers, we better not waste any more time on frivolous banter. Wait, what? We have to go figure out what's going on, don't we? Together? Obviously. Obviously? I would have left you here like half an hour ago if I had no intention of keeping you around. Harui grabbed a hold of my uh, wrist and waited no time starting our, event, our search. Haruhi. Again with Sayaka. Come on. I know, right? Don't you get the vibes? All right. This is kind of freaking dope. I can walk around. This is... Oh, I can run. Okay. How do I interact with things though? Hold on. Okay, space bar. It's the bench I woke up on. I still don't know how I got here. Sweet. It's Monokuma. The statue of a strange looking bear. It's oddly familiar. Oh my god, I like how I can just look at everything. Okay, I can't do anything with that. Cool. Then I'm gonna go this way. The pixel sprites are so cute. I'm loving them. I am loving them. I love how the map was designed and everything. This is cool. Hey, you. Boy with weird glasses thing. Oh, my God. He has a scouter. Oh, my God. It's over 9,000. I love this. Excuse me. Hello. Hmm. Hmm. I can't tell if he's distracted or just ignoring us. Hey, there. What is it? Sorry to bother you, but are you an ultimate student? Yes. What kind of question is that? Does this go all the way to the first trial? I don't think so. I think it's just the prologue. Ah, we are too. I'm Reiko Shimura, ultimate paranormal investigator, and this is Rui Miyazaki, ultimate pageant queen. Charmed, I'm sure. 
He's like, I don't care. Well, what about you? Oh, right. Kiyo Matsuoka, ultimate hacker. Kiyo Matsuoka, ultimate hacker. Why do you need a scouter to hack? Oh, I'm sorry, Chaotic Caper. Ultimate hacker. That's so cool. Oh, uh, thank you. I. So what makes you ultimate? Do you hack into government databases or something like that? Like in movies? Rui. What? You think I'd just tell you something like that? Just ignore her. Forget what she said. Already doing that. Oh, no! But I love her crown! I mean, for the sec for the record, the government did get involved, but it honestly wasn't any of their business. It's like nobody could take a joke. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Don't worry about it. No. Anyways, as concerning as that is, I don't suppose you could use your hacking abilities to the no, to you know, discover what exactly our current location is? Well... Well, I'm actually having trouble picking up any sort of signal currently. It's pretty unusual, to be honest. Well, I'm sure if the ultimate hacker is working on it, you'll find something soon enough, right? Aw, thank you, Euphorian. Hi, welcome. Right? Tell us if you end up finding out about our location. Will do. I love his color scheme, too. This is so cool, though. Can I go this way? No. Oh, I can't go this way. Oh, this is so... I, I like this! This is the cafeteria right here. Oh, more characters! And I can run around? Dude, this is so cool! This is all too strange for me. Oh, see! Hi, Dominica-chan. But, look, 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 look at this character! Tell me she is not precious. Tell me she isn't precious. Oh, I like this character so much. Strange place, strange school, lovely, but still strange kitchen. I don't have time for all of this. It is pretty strange, isn't it? Oh, oh you scared me a little bit there. Sorry. Sorry. It's all right. I'm just a little on edge. I'm worried about running into whoever kidnapped us all, you know? That's reasonable. I guess I should be worried about that too from now on. Wow. Well, I suppose that's understandable. However, neither of you seem like the criminal mastermind type, so I guess I should introduce myself. I'm the ultimate baker, Momoko Amari. We'll be counting on each other from now on, at least until we get some answers. Oh my god, her voice is amazing! The ultimate baker! Girl, I am here. Bake me some cookies. I want them all. Hopefully sooner than later. I have more important things to do than wait around helplessly like this. Now that you mention it, I'm actually kind of worried about my other plans. I actually have a few appointments coming up as well. I am much too busy for this hostage nonsense. Uh... Nate is a queen. Her voice is so cute. Tell me about it. I have a lot of people relying on me and every minute here is a minute I'm not working towards my goals. But hey, for the time being, you can rely on me for anything really. I'm going to do my best to be of use to everyone. Oh, I suppose my skill set only really includes baking, but I'm not a bad cook in general. I don't mind doing anything if it makes even just one person feel more at home. Thank you, Momoka. I'll keep that in mind. But I'm hoping you won't have to end up doing anything. I mean... Who else wants her to bake you some fine, fine, delicious desserts? Just imagine grabbing on her cakes. Just saying. That's a best case scenario, Reiko. I wouldn't decline her offer so soon. I just mean she shouldn't have to worry about being useful. No, I promise. I don't mind at all. I have a pretty big family and a business to manage. If anything, this kind of stress is nothing in comparison. No, oh God. Oh, what do you mean, guys? Look at her cakes. Aren't they... Delicious? If you say so. That honestly only makes me feel more worried about her. Oh my god, she's amazing. Let me have her. Please drink some water to cool down a bit. 
Nah, we need no water here. Let me have some Momoka cakes. I want my Momoka cakes. I need Momoka cakes. I knew he was going to say delicious. Stop looking at her cakes, bro. But I need them. <laughs> Give me cake. <laughs> You're thirsty, man. Ain't nobody thirsty. I told you I want cake. That's food. It's edible. I'm hungry. Give me it. He don't want water. He wants milk to go with them cookies again. <laughs> Extra creamy frosting, please. It's like this place goes on forever. I don't think I'd even need to search any farther in here. Man, I'm thirsty. Me too. Me too. And hungry. Today on the food chat, cakes. <laughs> yes. Do you think they're ignoring us? Everybody in the chat, tell me, what is your favorite cake? Go right now. Scarlet, you should be answering this. It's your birthday. No, I think they're sleeping. Oh, <gasps> she's so cute too. Where are all these waifus? I'm loving this game. Standing up. It definitely appears that way. Should we wake them up? I'd feel kind of guilty doing that. Obviously. We must. We have questions to ask. There isn't any time for napping. Oh. Oh, okay. Here goes. Hello? <sighs> oh. Were you sleeping? Maybe. Oh my god. Her voice is cute as fuck. This is going to be good. Travis shouts out with the $2 donation. Travis said, I feel like you want to bake her buns more than she wants to bake you buns. Some cake and milk to go along with that. Yeah! We're going to be baking cakes with Momoka. Oh my God. I am so happy right now. I'm loving these girls. That actually sounds really weird. I'm loving the boy too. I mean, we've only seen one boy so far. Oh no, we saw two. We got the protagonist, the uh, scouter guy, ultimate hacker. Maybe. Sorry, I was trying to see if this warehouse had any paints. Okay. I think I forgot to bring mine when I came here. Sorry. Sorry for waking you up, but we're trying to get some information from everyone here. It's okay. I just needed a little sleep. Now I'm extra ready to help you. Y'all. 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 Tell me that voice. Oh my God. By any chance, did you just happen to wake up in the, in this building? Hmm? Oh yeah. That's kind of normal for me. I figured I just forgot how I got here. This is normal for you? Not the waking up in strange buildings part. I'm just used to falling asleep at bad times. I stay up late when I'm inspired. Oh, I almost forgot to say hi. Hi. I'm Aya Hiromi. But I like to be called crafters. I'm crafters. the ultimate arts and crafts expert. Oh, crafters. Ultimate arts and crafts expert. That's actually pretty cool. Crafters? That's cute. What type of art do you make? Painting, drawing, sewing stuff, animals, sock puppets, all sorts of things. I'm known for making cute things out of whatever, really. That's why I wanted those paints. I wanted to customize some of the things I woke up with. You mean your handbook? Yeah. You know? I thought I could find some cool things here. There's all sorts of stuff in here, you know? Seems like a lot of food, clothes, and tools. Seems like everything one would need to survive quite a while. I wonder what for. Does she think we're going to need us to survive a while? Well. Well, I'm not certain you could further our investigation, so we'll leave you be. Hope you find those art supplies you needed, though. Thank you. I love her personality too. Talent and design. Oh my God. I am so with you, Sea Cucumber. I'm so with you right now. Dude, is that another waifu? Please stop. Please stop. Hope restoration? I'm going to need some hope restoration after this stream. As we walk towards the short girl in the corner, she becomes visibly excited. Could it be? Could it be? A hero and a princess approach me? 
uh, a what and a what? Finally, someone gives me the recognition I deserve. Thank you. No need to thank me. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Barbara Kamiya, sorceress extraordinaire. Also known as the ultimate dungeon master. Oh, she's precious too. Oh, pleasure to meet you. I'm, I am Haruhi Miyazaki, ultimate pageant queen. And this is Reiko, ultimate uh, ghost, whatever. Ultimate paranormal investigator. Yeah, what I said. Right. Uh, anyways, I think I've actually heard of you before, Barbara. Really? Really? Do you listen to my podcast? Podcast? Barbara has a gaming podcast. I actually haven't listened to it myself, but I've heard a lot about it online. People like to listen to other people play games. Why not just play it themselves? Yeah, why would you guys do that? Why are there people out there that watch other people play games? What weirdos? What it's fucking not weirdos? Just a game. It's all about the storytelling. People get really invested in the world building and characters of a campaign. That and the fact that some people don't have friends to play with, and listening is the next best option. Oh. Now. Anyways, Barbara, have you seen anything strange around here? No, but I'll make sure to tell you if I do. The whole party could benefit from that sort of information. That would be lovely. Thank you. I mean, to be fair, I've watched a lot of Critical Role lately. Psh, pathetic weebs. That's what I'm saying, dude. Only uncool people would watch other people play games. Come on. <laughs> and those people that actually record themselves playing games? Even weirder. This is a cabinet full of medical supplies. It's reassuring to have this stuff around just in case. I like the attention to detail. Like, you can actually examine things. That's so cool. I know it's something so minor, but I think that's so cool to have in this, in this type of game. It doesn't feel like a rushed game, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes people will make games like this and it just feels like super rushed. But it doesn't. I didn't really expect we'd find anyone in the infirmary. Oh yeah, I'm just looking for some bandages. He looks cool. Hmm, are you injured? I was curious if any of us were harmed before we woke up here. Actually, no. I was investigating this place, but then I noticed the bandages I had on before were gone. Strange, right? Very suspicious indeed. A little bit gross, too. Wait! Wait! How rude of me! I forgot to introduce myself! I hope you can forgive me! My name is Yoshio Matsuda. They call me the ultimate hero. I hope we can be friends from here on out. Oh, with that voice? We could definitely be friends. He sounds fucking awesome. The ultimate hero? Imagine being the ultimate hero! Seriously, I've heard all about you on TV. This is so cool. Stopping burglaries, tracking down criminals, saving people from burning cars, like a real life superhero. You know, it's actually kind of embarrassing hearing this sort of thing. <laughs> I'm not that big of a deal. Sorry. Right, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be weird. Don't worry about it. Nah, don't worry about it. You don't need to apologize. Just introduce yourself to me like you would a classmate. Of course, I'm Reiko Shimura, the ultimate paranormal investigator, and I am the ultimate pageant queen, Rui Miyazaki. All right, I'm going to just throw it out there and say he may be an antagonistic or an antagonist character. I'm getting weird vibes. You think so? Uh-oh. Are you doing the prologue only? Is there more than the prologue? If there's more than the prologue, then no. But I've, I only saw a prologue from what I saw. But if there's more, let me know. Pleasure to meet you both. Maybe later we could share the details of our investigations. Something gives me the feeling that we're going to need to cover a lot of ground to figure out what's going on here. Of course. Um, no, there's only a prologue. Okay. I thought I saw somebody in the chat earlier say that the chapter one's like close to being released or something like that. <gasps> what? The model model machine? Oh, it's here. Oh, that's so dope. During your indefinite stay here at the academy, you'll probably find a few coins scattered around. These are called mono coins. They're very valuable, and by that I mean they have no cash value outside of the school. <laughs> you can use the handbook menu to see how many you have. If you put those coins in this machine, a prize will pop out. These prizes can assist you in winning the hearts of your classmates. There's nothing these kids like more than free stuff. You can check the present section of the handbook menu to catalog all the junk you win from this thing. You might as well take a crack at it. It's not like you have anything better to do. 
Dude, that's so dope. Okay, let's do it. Oh my. Oh, wait, what? Hold up. I don't have any coins. Hold up. I can't turn it up. This is as loud as the music goes. That's good music. Bro, you can play it. Nice. That's so cool. Check the handbook with escape. <gasps> no way. Okay, sweet. I'm going to save. And then, yeah, that's as high as the music goes. I was hoping it would go a little louder, but no. That's okay. Presents? I have stuff already. Or I Maybe I don't have this stuff. Yeah, I don't have this stuff. Holy shit, they went in down in detail with this. This is cool. Way to die, color changing polish, ultimate emulator. Legendary emulator able to play games from any and every console. This is probably illegal, right? Could you imagine if there was an ultimate emulator out there? Oh my God, that'd be so dope. You could just play any game you want for free. Companies would go out of business. It'd be horrible. That's a steal. Let's go to the report cards. All right. Reiko Shimura. Height five foot three. Thank you for the host, Dominica John. I appreciate that. Weight 121 pounds. Chest 30. Blood A. Date of birth June 8th. Likes found footage. Dislikes superstition. He doesn't like superstition? Interesting. Who else we got? How do I scroll through? Aruhi Miyazaki. Height 5'7, weight 118 pounds, chest is 35, blood is O. Date of birth is November 18th. Likes dry humor. She likes dry humor? This likes chipped nails. You and me both. She is the ultimate pageant queen. Hold on a second. Oh, I guess I can't do anything else. The splash art is so pretty. The splash art looks insane. Kyo Matsuoka. Height is 5'1. Weight is 106 pounds. Chest is 28. Blood is B. Date of birth is August 9th. That is today. That's today. Oh, sick. Happy birthday, Kyo. That is so dope. He likes online forums and dislikes bright monitors. Everybody say happy birthday to Keo. I almost said that soon. I was like, wait, that's pretty soon. Oh, that's today. Happy birth broom. The timing of that's so dope. Oh, we got an April birthday. Yoshio Matsuda. Height is six foot one. Weight one, well, 175 pounds. Chest is 34. Blood is O. Date of birth, April 28th. We out here killing it. It's like Shattered Hope. Likes working out. Dislikes cars. Nice. How do you dislike cars? Aya Hiromi. Height is 5'1". Weight is 95 pounds. Dang, she's skinny. Chest is 28. Blood is B. Date of birth, October 25th. Likes sock puppets. Dislikes waking up early. You and me both. God, her splash art is so cool, by the way. With the paint in the background, that's so cool. Then we got Momoka. Momoka Amari. Height is five foot eight. Weight is 123 pounds. Chest is 34. Blood is O. Date of birth, July 7th. Likes powdered sugar. Dislikes taking time off. And notes is ultimate baker. Taking time off? Why would you not want to take time off? Barbara Camilla. Height is four foot four. Weight is 90 pounds. Chest is 31. Blood is A. Date of birth is August 18th. That's soon. Dislikes critical failure. Why does her chest... Look smaller than her chest. But her chest is supposed to be smaller than her chest. Interesting. Interesting. Dislikes critical failure. Oh, what else did we have in this? We have bullets. That button doesn't seem to work. 
rule book. That button doesn't seem to work. So that's the only thing we can do right now. What are these Z's on the wall? Hey! Don't question it. Sorry. I was just questioning it. Sorry. I shouldn't question things, huh? I didn't see any February birthday so far. No. Hello? Excuse me? He has headphones on. I think he's busy listening to something. Surely he could take them off for a moment. Nah, not really. Oh, he's cute. Uh huh? Huh? Oh, so you were just ignoring me? Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. What's your problem? Who do you think you are to just ignore me? Hmm? He must be the ultimate DJ. Who do I think I am? Oh, I get it. You want me to introduce myself, don't you? Yeah, all right. But I'm not doing any autographs. I'm Yuki Katabana. Give it up for the ultimate DJ. Yep, there he is. I like his voice, too. Hey, 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 shout out to the voice actors. Of course, you already knew that, didn't you? I like that sprite. I haven't I haven't the slightest idea who you are, and frankly, I don't care. Wait. Wait, Rui, you don't know who he is? Am I supposed to? Well, he is kind of a big deal. He's the headliner of all sorts of exclusive events and parties. His songs are kind of all over the radio, too. Right? I mean, I'm easily the most famous person you're going to meet here anyways. Feel free to also refer to me as a musician, composer, internet sensation, influencer, or the musical prodigy that defines our generation. Right. That really doesn't help at all with the whole me not knowing who you are thing. Well, I wouldn't mind if you stuck around. Then I could tell you all about myself. Hmm. Hard pass. Now. Now, let's get back to more pressing matters. My name is... Let me stop you right there, pal. Oh my god. What is savage? I don't really need your names. I have better things to worry about. Wait. Wait, what? Even in a situation like this, I can't get distracted from my current project. I can't waste any energy on things like remembering the names of, well, nobodies. It would probably be best if you left me alone now. See ya. And he's a, he's a dick. He is a dick. Y'all gotta love it. Wow. Dude, she was so mad. Oh my god. She was so mad. Can I go in there? No, of course not. Right? Female bathroom. It's like we're not allowed through here yet. Either that's a bathroom or it's a dorm room. Ruhi mad? I know, right? Can I go in here? No. Holy fuck. I can't wait for him to die first. Rude. Who's this? Hello. Hey, how's it going? <gasps> okay. Well, given the situation, I'm not that sure. No, don't worry. I'm pretty confident that everything will be all right. There's no point in getting down about it before we even know the details. What brings you over here anyways? We're trying to figure out how exactly we all arrived at the school. Have you seen anything suspicious? Uh, no, sorry. I haven't been looking. My instinct is usually just to head to the gym and wait for a teacher to explain. I was hoping for some headmaster or coach to tell us what's going on. Then I figured I can make a game plan from there. I mean, with nothing but ultimate students, getting out of a tough situation should be totally easy. You guys are ultimate students, right? Yeah, I guess this means that you're an ultimate too? My name's Naomi Tachibana. I'm the ultimate cheerleader. Ultimate cheerleader? Okay. Nice to meet you. I'm Reiko Shimura, the ultimate paranormal investigator. And I am Haruhi Miyazaki, the ultimate pageant queen. I've actually heard of you before, Naomi. I've seen your competition performances on TV. You're magnificent. Really? Aw, really? You recognize me? Obviously. Obviously. Oh. Now I'm the one feeling out of the loop. Not a sports fan, huh? Well, I guess it was obvious. Regardless, Naomi is a world famous cheer championship winner, known for being strong, loud, and absolutely stunning. I observed things like this from my pageant strategy research. If you were curious. Oh, stop it. You're making me blush. It's true, though. It takes a lot to be recruited as an ultimate, especially when you're from a different country. Different country? Oh, yeah, I'm actually from the U.S. I was recruited by an ultimate scout at an international competition. That's really cool. You must really be the ultimate cheerleader then, huh? You know it. I can even show you a little bit of a routine right here. As cool as that sounds, uh, I think we have some other things to take care of first. Oh, oh. great. Oh, right. Sorry, I'm getting us off track. My bad. What is it that you wanted to talk to me about again? How we got here and who our captor is. Right, of course. Well, I really have no idea. I don't remember a thing. 
All I know is only a super bad guy would kidnap a bunch of ultimate students. Well, well if you see anything suspicious, please do tell sure us. Thing. Sure thing. As soon as we figure out who brought us here, I'll fight them. How noble. Uh, I'm not sure that one person could take down someone capable of kidnapping so many people. But at least Naomi has her heart in the right place. But can she do a flip? I bet she can. Honestly, it's so hard to think these guys would kill. Everyone is so good and likable. I hate being reminded it's a killing game. I know, right? That's how Danganronpa gets you every time. I love the entire cast here. So far. So far. I am liking these. She's hot. I'd agree. Okay. I think he's ignoring us on purpose. Can I not talk to you? Okay. No. Oh my God. No, I'm not the one being irrational here. What do you mean you put pineapple on your pizza? Yes! Finally! No, wait, 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 wait. I love pineapple on my pizza. I love it. It is the best thing ever. I'm glad somebody brought this up. Because I feel like that's a that's an argument that needs to be won by the pineapple lovers out there like me. I immediately regretted interrupting this argument. It's not that bad, man. Seriously, why does it matter if I don't care for pepperoni? I like this guy. I like this guy. I like this guy. I'm canceling you, Blaze. Cancel me. Do it. Do it. For real? Is that what you really doing out here? For real? I like pineapple on my pizza, too. See? We could be best friends. Pepperoni is good. It's, it's symmetrical. It's symmetrical. Rui... Please don't get us involved in this. I agree with Suit Guy. Pineapple and pizza don't mix. You went from being best girl to worst girl. No one asked you. Ooh. Hey, don't be rude to a lady. Unsurprisingly, this is going just as badly as I thought it would. Look at all their faces. I'm sorry. We haven't even introduced ourselves. Hideki Takahashi, at your service. But you can call me Ace. Please take my card. What do you mean? I love pineapple with a pizza. I like his voice. He's the ultimate con artist. Hideki handed me a business card. I was almost impressed. It looked pretty professional. You're the ultimate con artist? It sounds awfully sleazy when you say it like that, huh? Well, don't worry about me, man. I promise you I'm 100% worthy of your trust. As long as the pizza tastes good, I don't care what is put on it. Yeah, but like, if you don't like the toppings... Wouldn't the pizza taste bad? Like, like the, like the toppings is kind of what makes the pizza. But I feel you though. Anyways, this is, I could introduce myself. Thank you. I'm Takiyama. Hmm? Takiyama? Just Takiyama. That's it? Huh? What about your talent? I figured everyone here was an ultimate. Talent. Right. Well, I don't know. You lying. It'll come back to me at some point. You lying. I just kind of can't remember. I don't trust that. I don't trust anyone with a question mark as their ultimate. Well, I'm Reiko Shimura, ultimate paranormal investigator. And I am Harui Miyazaki, ultimate pageant queen. Nice to meet you. Yep. Trust me. He's happy. Trust me. Akiyama merely rolled his eyes at this. It seems like these guys have some sort of history with each other. What were we discussing again? On that note, I think we'll just continue our investigation elsewhere. Nice meeting you guys, though. Rui hurriedly dragged me away from those guys. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'll look at the card information. I didn't forget about that. Trust me. I'm just trying to get to meet everybody so we can look at all the cards together. Uh, hey there. Oh. Oh, um, Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. As good as I can be at a time like this. I love his suit. Well, is that the all-seeing eye? Or is that the evil eye? What is that? That's the all-seeing eye, isn't it? Right, well, my name's Harui Miyazaki. I'm the ultimate pageant queen. You're an ultimate too, right? Yes. Yes. I guess I should introduce myself. My name is Shin Shizuku, the ultimate occultist. Oh, that's why you have that on your jacket. Makes sense. He looks cool as hell. Ultimate occultist, really? Yes. Yes. I know some people get creeped out and some people think I'm weird. 
So if you're going to make fun of me, go ahead. Just... Just get it over with, I guess. Why? Wait, why? What? Why would we do that? This is strange. Usually it's me who's getting bullied. Because I've been asked if I perform human sacrifices no fewer than three times today. And your friend is already laughing about something. Harui? <laughs> me? That's not it at all. Geek Boy here is the ultimate paranormal investigator. This is perfect. We have a ship. She's right. We have an ultimate occultist and a paranormal investigator. They can be best friends. Oh. What's perfect? You're both into like ghosts and whatever, aren't you? It's like the same talent. Uh, Arui? <laughs> this is too good. It isn't the same at all. Oh, really? It's similar. Is there something or is there supposed to be a difference here? Ghosts are kind of a total scam, right? Uh, see, I knew you were here to mock me. Harui! Uh, what? Just get back to the point. Ask him what we came here to ask him. Oh, right. Oh, right. So, uh, have you seen anything or anyone suspicious? No. No, I've been trying to avoid people and this is why. Can you just leave me alone now? He turned his back and walked away from us. Great. Now he thinks I'm a jerk by association. Hmm. What was his problem? We were just investigating. Let's just not worry about it. Oh my god, Travis, thank you for the donation! Another two dollars! I appreciate you, dude. Unpopular opinion. The one student doesn't know or, or tell you their talent cliche is overdone and needs to die already. If you... Oops. Let's see, go back. If you just do it to have it and don't do anything more to it, then you should stop. Make something cool out of it, at least. That's what I'm hoping for in SDRE 2. You know how we don't know the talent for Sora, which is the main protagonist? I'm hoping that, like, we get something cool that establishes or branches out from that. You know what I mean? Some... The thing about it is, like, all the fan games that I've seen that have done it so far haven't gotten that far to really do anything with it. So, I guess we'll, we'll just have to see on that one. But, no, I agree with you on that. Thank you for the $2. That backfired, right? I guess we can't be best friends. Hiya. Hiya, how's it going? You remind Hi, me of someone. Hey, Yuchi, ultimate matchmaker. Prepare to fall in love. Okay. Huh? Ultimate matchmaker, huh? I didn't really know that was much of a hobby. Of course. Everyone has someone special waiting for them, and it's my job. No, it's my purpose to bring them together. Oh, one of those characters. Purpose? Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing I love more than love and happy endings. I was born to make dreams and happy endings come true. This is adorable. But I have to ask you if you know of any clues as to how we all ended up at the school. Oh. Well, no. I've been busy investigating other things. What have you been investigating? Everyone else. I've been introducing myself to everyone here and starting on my notes. Notes? Notes on what? We aren't actually attending any classes here, are we? Notes from my potential pairings. My observations on other people that helped me figure out who's perfect for them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's what we need. An ultimate shipper. In the game. Mika shuffled through our coat pocket and presented us with a glittery, hand-decorated notebook. So cute! This is my shipping journal! Oh my gosh. All of my potential pairing notes go here. Wait. Wait, what? We've all been kidnapped. It's not really the time for that. Relax, Reiko. She's probably just trying to scout out the cutest boy here for herself. What? That's not it at all. I'm too biased to match myself up with anyone. I only care about other people's relationships. Besides, none of the boys here are that cute anyways. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> she got a fucking shipping journal. Look, I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me. I'll go look for important stuff now. Bullying a girl? Not cool, Reiko. I didn't mean to. That was my bad. Alright, let's see the, the ones that we have so far. Student-wise. Left off at Yuki. Yuki Katabana. Height is 5'4", weight is 126. Test is 29. Blood is B. Date of birth is March 1st. Okay, we got a March birthday. 
likes glow sticks this likes sheet music that is the ultimate dj yeah the splash art's really good oh we already checked her out oops momoka momoka amari oh wait we already looked at you hold on oh it's different like oh okay it's filling in like that all right i got you i got you i got you we already did you naomi tachibana height is five foot nine weight is 138 chest is 35 blood is a b date of birth april 2nd let's go that is my birthday to the exact month and day baby girl me and you so alike aries birthdays let's get it likes pe dislikes negativity I like this. I like this girl. I like this girl. Um. Oh, we already looked at you. We didn't look at you yet. Micah Ayuchi. Height is 4 foot 10. Weight is 94 pounds. Chest is 27. Blood is B. Date of birth is March 14th. Likes happy endings. Dislikes unhappy endings. Oh my god. That's your birthday? So who's the waifu and husbando for Blaze? Waifu wise? I already got it called out. Actually, no, 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 no. If we want to go waifu, waifu, Momoka. Bro, this is my, this is this game's Kurumi for me. This is this game's Kurumi for me. I'm going with Momoka. I'm trying to get some cakes. She's the favorite. Sis, raise the death flags. Oh no. Shin Shizuku. Height is 5'6, weight is 127, chest is 28, blood is A. Date of birth is October 30th. Likes seances, of course. Dislikes blood. Uh, we already looked at you. We already looked at you. We already looked at you. What about Hideki? Hideki Takahashi. Height is 5'9. Weight is 147. Chest is 34. Blood is B. Date of birth is February 9th. Likes gambling. Dislikes losing. And then Takiyama. Takiyama. Height is 5'8. Weight is 143. Chest is 32. Blood is AB. Date of birth is January 24th. Likes privacy. Me, me and you both. Dislikes answering questions. Well, he wouldn't be able to be a YouTuber, huh? Or a streamer. I don't think this is a bad thing at its it's a tribute most of the time even if it has a little lack of originality i don't think it's a bad thing yeah i guess like all, all the fan games if you think about it kind of like what um who said that moon said is like i guess technically it's not really original since it is supposed to be kind of like a tribute to Danganronpa, so. Sounds like the ultimate question mark, question mark, question mark starter pack. Is Taki a neat? We are discussing my sentiment that fan games are trying too hard to be Danganronpa like right now. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. Don't get too attached to her or she will die. Danganronpa logic. Out of the ones that I've seen, that I've experienced, I'm trying to think of the one that's most like the game. I mean, I think SDRA2 is probably the most, and I think that's mainly because, like, it uses the second game's engine. And on top of that, like, when I play that game, I just feel like I'm playing Danganronpa. I know the, the plot twists and stuff are crazy. They're very original and such. But, like, that one I feel like is the most Danganronpa-like. But as far as the other ones, I think all of the other ones have pretty much had their own spin to it. Ahoy! Wait, that's stupid. Hold on. 
What's up? The name's Hayden Shea, Ultimate Sailor. Nice to meet you. Ultimate Sailor. He's got a key well, you know what I'm saying? Ultimate Sailor. Nailed it. That physically hurt me to watch. I'm just going to say what we're all thinking. That was excruciating to watch. <laughs> That's fair. What brings you here anyways? We're investigating the school and looking for clues as to how we all ended up here. Have you seen anything suspicious? Nothing suspicious, but look at this pool. Pretty cool, right? That's kind of weird for a sailor, isn't it? What is? How does the school pool compare to the ocean or whatever? I guess they're not really comparable, but the idea of water indoors is cool, right? Unless you're on a boat, in which case something is really wrong. Right. Either of you guys want to try it out? Um, I'll pass. What about you then? Do I look like I want to get my clothes wet right now? I mean, you could just take them off, right? He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Ah! Hold on a second. Hey, wait a second. That's not what I mean. I swear. Asking me to remove my clothes without even treating me to dinner first? The audacity. <laughs> wait, please. I'm not that kind of a guy. I know. What? <laughs> I'm messing with you. It was a joke. I mean, of course it was a joke. I knew that. Rui, that was just cruel. Damn. She made him feel like he was this big. My boy tried. He really did. Rest in peace. Can we get some Fs to the chat for him, please? She played you like a, fi a fiddle, right? So if we buy her dinner, though, you know what's going to happen. We getting messy in the pool. I don't know which would be more painful. Seeing him trying to talk or seeing him dead. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, He was... Where'd he go? Hayden. Hayden Chia. Height is five foot six. Weight is 137 pounds. Chest is 32. Blood is B. Date of birth is December 21st. Likes dogs, dislikes thunderstorms, of course, because he's a water type, right? See what I did there? You see, you see, you see what I, you see what I did there? He's a water type, so he, yeah, he's weak to thunder. Anyways, he had me until thunderstorms. Dry joke. <laughs> no, but you know who would love me though? You know who would love my dry humor? The ultimate pageant queen. We already looked up her report card. Alright, where do I go? Did I miss a place? No. Very but very funny, Blaze. I'm dying here. Are you really? I'm glad I'm that funny. I'm glad that my humor is just on the next level to just have people rolling on the floor, legitimately just laughing their guts out. Blaze be missing my girls. Was there more girls? The closet full of sports equipment. I don't know anything in particular about any of this stuff. I do not belong in there. Okay. Did I miss somebody? I must have missed somebody. Is Solid Snake in here? You got the whole squad laughing? I try. Blaze is already thirsty from all the waifus. There's two more girls. Where the hell are they? Well, let's go back up. Oh, what are the rules here? The pool rules are posted here. Number one, eating and drinking in the pool area is prohibited. Number two, there's no lifeguard on duty. Students are held responsible for any accidents that may occur. Swim at your own discretion. Number three, students are responsible for the upkeep and cleaning of the pool. This includes keeping trash. Notice, students who neglect to clean up after themselves within a certain window of time will be punished. Oh my god. Who have we met so far? A lot of people. We're, we're missing like two people. Okay, go this way. Was there anybody else in here? Can I go this way? No. The dorms and down? Okay. That's what I was missing then. Oh, yeah. Here. Right here. I'm stupid. Oh, shoot. Here we go.
Why does she look like Maki mixed with uh, Karusu from fucking Steins Gate? I know I'm being ignored. Oh! <gasps> what is it this time? Huh? I'm really starting to freak out by this. My phone isn't getting any service. Not even the emergency button. We've been over this already. We are in high school, are we not? Yes. And we are high school students, yes? Mm -hmm. Then we are exactly where we are supposed to be. So stop fussing about it. I don't remember coming here, though. They're both cute. Nobody does, eh? actually. Eh? Who gave you permission to talk to us? Because it sure as hell wasn't me, Geek Boy. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey. hey, don't speak to Geek Boy that way. Hey, Harui, you too? Whoops. <laughs> hey, how about we all just be nice to each other? My name is Sachika Sada. I am the ultimate younger twin. Sachika! Hey, the ultimate younger twin? So the other one's the ultimate older twin? Hey, that's kind of cool. This is my sister. Sami Sada. I am the ultimate older twin. Oh. I'll introduce myself. Thank you. Not that I wanted to. Sami Sada. Uh oh. Are they going to die in chapter three? <laughs> Together? Is one really a serial killer? What exactly makes twins ultimate, if you don't mind me asking? You don't even know about us. Are you stupid or something? <laughs> Forgive her. <laughs> she doesn't really like talking to boys. Makes ultimate as being like the cutest twins around. How is this a talent? Because like... It's hard to be a twin. You guys don't know that? It takes a lot of work. To be an ultimate twin, shit. I know all about that. The two of them have basically been actresses and models since they were children. They have the gimmick of being adorable and two of a kind. Mm -hmm. We've been in ads, magazines, TV shows, movies, red carpet events. We even have our own fashion line. We're basically doubles for each other. When one of us is too tired of shooting, the other can step in. It's efficient. Oh, oh I guess I don't really have or I don't really keep up with celebrity news that often. Clearly. Clearly. Have you been living under a rock or something? Damn. It's okay, Reiko. I'm sure nobody thought that you of all of people would be into mainstream media in the slightest. Am I being insulted? No. We're going to ask you if you've seen anything weird, like clues as to how we all ended up here. The only weird thing I've seen around here is your weirdo boyfriend. Hmm. I'm not even going to address that remark. Just let us know if you see anything suspicious. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I'll keep my eyes open for anything weird. This was a nightmare from start to finish. Suddenly, the monitor in the corner flicked on, flickered on. Hello, is this thing on? Everybody, please report to the gym. Uh-oh. What the hell was that? Should we go to the gym? Yeah, probably. Oh, I didn't get to look at their handbook. Or their report card. I knew I was on to something with staying in the gym. Why are we here? Do we get to go home now? I don't know. I don't know, but I really want to go, like, now. I'm not really feeling this place. So what is going on here? We all came here as we were told, and look, nothing. Aww. I'm getting tired of waiting. I need to know what I should feel optimistic about. There's absolutely nothing to be optimistic about. We have been kidnapped. Huh? huh? We were kidnapped? Uh. We were called here by whoever kidnapped us, right? I have a few things to say to them. Yeah, she's about to bake them some good cakes. Whoever's responsible for this should show themselves already. Hey, please stop being angry. I'm right here. Ooh. Eh? Where is that coming from? The stage. I honestly don't think any of us expected to see what we saw next. We all fixed our eyes on the stage as it walked in. Nice to meet you. My name is Moneko. I am your director and headmaster. What the fuck is that? I look forward to getting to know you all. What the fuck is that? Uh, a kitty? So cute! <laughs> this puppet is so cute. I want to make one like that. Whoa, this stuffed animal can talk? This is it's, cursed. It's possessed. It's definitely possessed. <laughs> Silly. I'm not a stuffed animal or a puppet. I'm a Neko. What the fuck is that? Huh? You look like a toy, though. Sachika. Don't talk to that thing. This doesn't make any sense. This is the kidnapper? Everyone calm down. This must be some kind of juvenile prank or something, right? What? I've never seen anyone or anything like this. What kind of villain is that? We all panicked at the reveal of our supposed captor and director. 
At least until an explanation was offered. Allow me to explain. I... Huh? Huh? <laughs> Psych! It's got a... Brother? Good thing I got here in time. Before things got too boring. Oh, I know that voice. I know that voice. That voice is very familiar. Well, it was almost explained. Now I'm just left with infinitely more questions. Uh huh? Who are you? This can't be right. Nah, that puppet isn't cute at all. This is even more cursed than the last one. Hey. Just, what is this supposed to be? Can we go next? Yet? Why would you go when the fun is just getting started? What are you doing here? I am the headmaster, aren't I? Wait, don't answer that. Let me introduce myself first. Let me introduce myself first. I'm Mono Meow. I love his voice, dude. Mono what now? Mono Meow, your headmaster. Mono Meow. Hmm. Nobody cares about your stupid name. Just tell us why we're here. Yeah, just tell us the ransom so I can cough up the cash and hit the road. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. If you're the headmaster, then who's that other guy? Oh, don't worry. I'm taking care of that right now. No. No, don't do it. Extreme mono makeover. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, <gasps> no. Huh? Oh. That cat isn't that cute anymore. See? Now that's definitely a lot more to my liking. Uh. What did you do? I, I don't even know who you are. You're a fake. Fake? Why? You know what, Monaco? Monaco? <laughs> that thing is so weird. These names, dude. Words hurt. I can't believe how I, how attacked I'm feeling right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hurt your feelings, did I? Wait, I don't care that I hurt your feelings. You were being mean to me. I do not particularly care for you. What? Now ah, you've done it. That's it. Oh, I was no. Let you stick around for the sake of these kids, but you forced my paw. Not the paw. Seven circle death punch. Go. No. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh shit! Got fucking yeeted! Yee! <laughs> Whoa! He just got rid of that other guy! With one punch! Oh my god! One punch! Yeah! He just killed Mone- <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, <laughs> but that shit was too funny. He just killed Moneko. Now that the problem is solved, let me begin. Right. So this was a complete waste of everyone's time. That pixel got fucked. Any particular reason you've gathered us here? I can only assume he's here to do us in too, right? Bro, what the hell? I'm being serious. It's obvious he didn't bring us here for some school thing, isn't it? Be honest. Well, aren't you a smart cookie? You are absolutely right. This isn't a school thing. From now on, you guys are going to take part in a very special game. Really? Game? I love games. What kind of game? If you guys will let me finish, maybe I would explain. Are you done talking over me now? Now then. All right, you bastards. Here's the rule. Or the deal. In this game, you're going to live out your school lives here. Oh, all right. Okay, so it's totally normal, except for the cat and the other cat and the not knowing how we got here. Oh, right. How you got here. Well, that's a surprise. I thought it would be more fun if I removed those tiny details. <laughs> that's weird, but can we go home later? Hmm, let me see. Uh, nope. Excuse me? What do you mean, nope? Yep. I figured. You guys are going to stay here forever. Wait. What did you just say? This is getting interesting. There it now. is. This is getting interesting now. If you ungrateful bastards can quiet down, then maybe I'd tell you. I had a whole model. Why do I always have to get hit with buns? No matter what stream I do, no matter what game we play, there's always a stupid ass pun. <laughs> I have.
had a whole monologue prepared for you lot. But now I'm not even going to waste my breath. You would have loved it too. I made a slideshow and everything. There was spreadsheets. But you insufferable children kept whining and interrupting. So now you get the boring watered down version. So basically, you were staying in the school indefinitely. There, I said it. Wait. What? You're just going to keep us here? That's not how school works. Well, the 16 of you were gathered here for the Hope Restoration Program. Hope Restoration Program? Yeah, it's a fun little thing where you develop each your or you each develop your talents and cultivate friendships lasting a lifetime in order to restore hope or whatever. All within a special facility catering to each of your absurd niches. But with the utmost secrecy and safety in mind. You know what? Cross was right. The, the writing in this is really good. But I got in here just in time to spice things up. You can thank me later. Hey! Just who do you think you are to do such a thing? I'm Mono Meow, right? I think that's who I think I am to do such a thing. I think. There's no way you can keep us trapped here forever. That's impossible. You can see the beach from outside. We're obviously not stranded. I can navigate any waters like the back of my hand. I'll get us out of here in no time. And there's a forest too. We can hike out of here. There's no fence. Like a real adventure? Right. Well, you're welcome to try, but you'll find a few surprises out there. Like, I don't know, landmines. Landmines in the water? How does that work? Landmines? Just what are you planning on doing? Listen here. Listen here. I told you what I plan on doing. Keeping you here forever. Oh, well, forever is a strong word. I honestly hope at least one of you will die before forever happens. I wouldn't want to wait that long. Nobody's going to let you get away with this. You don't have to yell at me. There is one way to leave. Really? How? All you got to do is kill someone. There it is. I don't think anyone knew how to respond to that. Kill? Like in a game? Kill someone in a game? I don't know. I think he's talking about real murder. Of course I'm talking about real murder. A single sentence managed to silence the entire gem. If you need to get out of here that badly, you just got to win the game. It's easy. Just kill one of your fellow classmates and get away with it. You act like it's that easy. But how are we even supposed to kill each other? Not like you're giving us weapons or anything. I'm so happy you asked. Oh, the art. Strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, poisoning, drowning, electrocution, igniting. See if I care. The possibilities are endless. The hey, what's up, Nick? Irrelevant. All that matters to me is that somebody bleeds. What kind of monster would I be to put limits on your creativity? Mmm. Okay. Hm. Sick freak. Like I would dirty my reputation over something so trivial. Seriously. Who in their right mind would kill someone over this? I don't want to kill anyone. I never said you had to. You are welcome to wait and around and be killed by someone else. Like I'd let anything like that happen. This sick joke has gone on long enough. Yeah, this is stupid. Like a group of ultimates would give in to you. Nobody's gonna play your dumb game. We're going to find a way out of here, even if it kills us. That's the point. Uh... Can someone please just beat up this deranged Muppet already? You can leave it to me. With pleasure. You can leave it to me. Let me help. Let me help. This is pissing me off. I'm not taking any orders from this sad excuse for a mascot. Hey, you can't beat up your headmaster. Don't you delinquents know there are rules and prestigious schools like this? You said we had to kill someone to leave. So I guess these two are going to kill you. Hurry it up, by the way. I'm getting impatient here. Ooh. What is so amusing to you? <laughs> you think it's that easy? You idiots have to kill a classmate, not me. Let me just clarify that any violence against the headmaster will result in... Result in... Execution. Execution? X -E -Q shit. Execution! I told you we have rules. This is a prestigious program after all. How can you restore hope if you're acting like a bunch of wild animals? In a high stakes game like this, the punishments happen to be permanent. Same reason we have the class trials. Class trials? Yep, class trials. When one of you finally off someone, you all get to participate in the class trial. The blackened killer will then face off against their spotless classmate. You argue over who the blackened is, and then it's voting time! Is that a... Is that an egg on him? 
Is this stomach an egg? You all vote for who you're convinced is the culprit. If you all vote correctly, then only the blackened killer will receive punishment. Then the rest of you guys get out of the ordeal scot-free and head back to class. However, if you choose incorrectly, the blackened gets to head on out and the rest of you are offed. It doesn't get much more simple than that. Huh? That's terrible. That's the justice system for you. It's not that hard. You just have to commit the perfect crime and survive the trial. That's still terrible. Well, them's the rules. I'm gonna let you kids off the leash now. You are now free to get started on your killing spree. I'm just gonna sneak on out of here now. Have fun on your totally trigger happy reign of terror. Trigger happy. See what you did there. Fun? This isn't fun at all. But it's definitely interesting. None of us will participate in your twisted game. I'll make sure of that. Don't group us all in like that. When you break the rules, I don't want to get in trouble for it. What are you saying? You want to kill someone? No. No, I'm saying your defiance will get us all killed. Stop that! Stop that! You're scaring me! Wait! Wait a second. You can't just leave us here after telling us all of that. You've barely even explained. Relax. Relax. It's all explained in your student handbooks. Besides, I'm just some dumb cat puppet, right? Why would you ask me? He just flew off! The sadistic creature slipped out of the room as we were arguing. Everyone, calm, remain calm. Would anyone like to explain what we've just experienced? What? Oh no, Sammy, I don't wanna, I don't understand any of this. Live here forever or kill? I've never heard of any games like this. What's going on? No. Please, try to calm down. I'm sure things aren't as hopeless as they seem right now. Unfortunately, I think we all understand completely. Seems we've been presented with two choices. Yeah, we could live here forever. Or we could kill someone to ensure our own safety. At least, that is what I could glean from that filthy creature's tirade. Wait, killing someone? That's... That's something I won't allow to happen. That... That's what it is. We are abducted and taken to such... To some unheard of school for seemingly no reason. Why should we trust anything that... Thing tries to tell us? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a lame-ass prank if, you've, if I've ever seen one. Oh! Right. This is totally fake. This is just like a hazing ritual sort of thing, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm, you see. We all say that, but... But what? Have you looked at these little e-handbooks? This type of tech isn't cheap, I'll tell you that. I'm calling it now. This is the real deal. Hey, wait a second! I thought we were agreeing that this is a joke! You know, I don't think it matters if it's real or fake. What's more important is... Are any of you actually considering this? To that... I I had no response. And as I looked around, I realized that not one of us did. They all stared at one another, glaring daggers. I don't know, nothing but empty threats. Fear had built up inside each and every one of us already. And somehow this fear was nothing compared to what lied ahead for us. Don't tell me this is where it stops. Don't tell me this is where it stops. Ooh, that's loud. No! That was literally like one of those like, that was a cock tease. That was amazing though, but it was a cock tease. I like the game. I like the sprites. I like the writing. Like Crosspaw has said, the writing is really freaking good in this. It felt like Danganronpa. There wasn't a lot of typos. I don't think I saw any typos actually. It was really like grammatically correct. I liked that. Everything was easy to read. The characters felt like characters. They were written very well. Like, I, I like this. This was good. Hope will never die. We are the first to get what they wish. We are the three, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are the first to get what they wish. In the three motifs, they still think of the time. Two minutes, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, four, three. Two, three, four, three.